started with a tweet from my boy Quavo Quavo, aka Quavius Young, man, where he was just talking about it. This is what he says. It's all luck. Stop acting like everybody can do this stuff, man. And like I said, I want y'all to hear what he's saying because if you and you gotta listen to what he's saying, you gotta have the ability to to listen to something and extrapolate. Uh, data from what somebody's saying and infer what they're trying to say you get meaning you got to be able to read between the lines because if you can't read between the lines you're going to be speaking from a place of ignorance and it's just not going to come out right so you got to make sure that you understand what he's saying and hear what he's saying and don't be like people in the youtube comment section and just just read what what the title was he's it's a clickbait title he's trying to get you to click on to it and then you missed the video you just started commenting before i feel like that's what a lot of people deal with this man but let's just hear what he's saying we're gonna go from there Hey, good morning, Twitter fam, man. Just hopping on here to give y'all a little, you know, a little advice, man. Man, do what you want to do out here, all right? It's just First that thing simple, you say, do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Um, I've been seeing a lot of creators get on here and tell people that anybody can do this. You know, you can you can, you can make it off this. No, you can't, bro. It's literally luck. You know what I'm saying? You grind, 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 be yourself. You know, and people, you know, people might watch you and support you. You feel me? But this is not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get Definitely on Twitter and, and do all this yapping about, oh, you can do this, you can do that, you can blow up off this shit. Then you look at their channels and it's, it's just not, it's not, it's not, com it's not comparing with what they're saying to the channels. You know what I mean? Um, you got some people that are that stream every day, upload every day, that'll never get recognized. They will never make it off of this. And then you got somebody that, that, that stream maybe two times a week, that post on YouTube maybe two to three times a week, just enough to be re relevant, you feel me? And they're doing very, very well compared to the person that streams every single day that 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 uploads on the regular you feel me so like i said man it's all look it's all about who people want to watch it's all about who you is man y'all stop getting on here talking about the recipe and start and stop telling people that they can do this because they it's it's it's, it's, it's it, there's no recipe bro it's, you feel me it's no recipe yeah and what he's saying is there's no recipe you know what the definition of a recipe is i'm gonna give you my loose interpretation of what he's saying is there's no recipe means that it doesn't mean that you don't get on here and work hard and all of that. The rest, a recipe is I give you a list of instructions. You go procure the ingredients. When you get those ingredients, you combine them in a certain way, put them in the oven or wherever it is for a certain amount of time, and you can come out with something and we can have very similar results. That is true. That it, but, but the problem is that, that you could say that there is a recipe to it, but at the same time, you can say that there's not because the recipe, the integrity of the recipe, it's totally dependent on your ability to procure the proper ingredients. And in this case, the most, the most crazy, the crazy, the, the most important ingredient is having a personality that people gravitate toward. If you don't have a personality or something that you that you do well that people gravitate toward, then you're it's just, it's just not really a way to be successful. That is the most important ingredient. And having that ingredient, that is the part. That is luck. If we say nothing else in this whole thing is luck, that is the part that that's luck. I'm a great network engineer. I've been a network engineer for 25 years, right? The jobs that I've gotten, even though, even though these jobs that I've gotten, they 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 are I got them because I worked hard. Another part of the reason that I got these jobs is because of luck. Because there's somebody out there. I'm not stupid. I know that there's somebody out there colder than I am at my job anything that you do in life there's gonna be an element of luck there's somebody out there colder than me at my job he just didn't apply for the same job he got a he got a great personality colder than me probably taller than me and you know great eye candy for the office all this stuff like that or it's, or it's a female like that is just everything just in, embodies everything that they wanted for that job but they didn't apply for the job and i did so i got the job and they didn't even even when i go for another job and i am the best candidate then hey Every time you do something well, somebody else or several people take a L. Does that mean I was better than all of them? No, it just means that there was something in my personality or something in my resume that they gravitated toward. I worked hard for the resume part, but the personality, I ain't work hard for this unless you are cultivating the personality and making something up and not being yourself and being genuine, which is what he said, be yourself, and then you can be successful. If you're making up a personality and you're adapting to what everybody wants to see and all that, that's one thing. But if you're just being yourself, being genuine, and you out there grinding, then yeah, there's gonna be an element of luck to it. Now, now uh, then we had, so what we had was then, so Stax comes back and he just says, hey, I messed with the Quavo, but I despise when y'all come on here and spew nonsense and, uh, and, and it be follower people 
Nah, I can't even really read what he's saying. I'm if you follow what people saying, facts, bro, just like anything uh in life, you gotta work hard. Uh, you got to work hard for what you want. That's a best part of it. But I mean, I can work hard to go to the NBA. I'm never going to make it to the NBA. I'm 6'4". I can jump out the gym. If I was 6'10", I'd probably make it to the league, but I'm not. It's just, that's, that's an element of luck to it. It says views and numbers fluctuate all the time. As a creator, it's what it's about what you do when those views are high. Some blow up faster than others, but you can use that same logic for when they fall off. Everyone makes their own choices in life. There's no luck in Involved. Well, I'm gonna tell you this, like, I mean, and, and again, like that's that's I don't think he truly understands what Quavo's trying to say because like let's just imagine me. I'm a network engineer, right? If I was born in 1930, there's no job for me. You see what I'm saying? Did I did I work? I mean, yes, I work hard and I'm a net, I'm a great network engineer, but there would have been no job field for me, just like a lot of people blew up once or and, and a lot of content creators came onto the scene once they are uh, they 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 came onto the scene once you could, you know, once the barrier of entry wasn't that bad or wasn't that high. Like, like, look at, look at me. I came in in 2000, what, 2008, 2009. I would be surprised if most people can make it 14 years and still even be getting any views in 14 years. Like some people, you know what I'm saying? They just started a couple years ago and they, and they're barely doing anything. You understand what I'm saying? So to make it and still be here 14 years later and your views never really fluctuated you're still at the same spot that is actually pretty remarkable or at least in my eyes it is but the thing the thing of it is that you really have to think about is like the barrier to entry when we started bro you had to have at least two bands off the rip to get started we started with dazzle we didn't have no HDPVR. I had to save up for months for that HDPVR because I got a family. I got a wife. I got a kid. I got stuff people to take care of. I can't just, I couldn't just go out there and just straight up buy HDPVR at that point in time, like what, 2008, 2009? Like, for no reason? Bro, it is what it is. But then now I look at how things go and I understand where I am in 2K. And I said, well, you know what? I'm never going to be great and blow up or do this or that. But I can. I can understand what what it is that I'm able to do. And what I'm able to do is I'm able to pay my house note and both my car notes and my insurance off of what I do in eight minutes a day on YouTube. The, the amount of effort that I put into YouTube is very minimal. So the gains that I'm gonna get out of YouTube are also very minimal. But at the same time, I understand that I have a personality that people gravitate toward. And because I have that personality, that's the most important ingredient. I'll always be able to, to garner views or, or start a new channel. I'll always be able to do something because I have that personality that people gravitate toward. If you don't have it, you can't just make it. You, like I said, you can make up something and be disingenuous, but at the same time, or you can go back to current gen because a lot of people did that too. Like when their views was falling off and they really weren't getting no views or whatever like that, and they realized they was just going to be like everybody else. They went back to current gen and then they experienced that growth. But that option may not be there next year or the, ne or, or the next year. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be one of those things where it's going to be where everybody's going to be on the same playing field and and you know it just is what it is but like i said though going back to the dazzling stuff man when you've been streaming since then since when gigabit internet wasn't even that that common and you had to upload stuff and it took four hours to edit a video and then another four hours to process it and then it took probably two hours to upload that joint because everybody had like one up back then bro it's it's tough so a lot of it is being born in a time or, and then like YouTube wasn't even really popping back then. So, you know what I'm saying? So now coming up in this time, it does seem like it's a lot easier, but you can't tell me that everybody, not everybody that works hard is going to be successful and everything is not luck. So, but he's not saying that everything is luck. He's just saying that don't, it's, it's irresponsible for people that are successful to go and tell children, hey, or other people that's trying to come up, hey, all you got to do is do this, 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 and this, and you're going to blow up. Like, that's irresponsible. It's just like people that that are on YouTube and they, they say, you know, I do this, 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 and this. And then when you realize how they became successful, none of their money is from what they actually did. Like, you, I, you can become successful selling books on Amazon. None of their money is from selling books on Amazon. Or it's from selling a book on Amazon. And the book that they sold on Amazon is the book about how to sell books on Amazon. It's like they get a hustle going and then they sell books, you know, try telling you how to get to that hustle. Anyway, it's just one of them things where it's like, I definitely understand what he's saying and um, and, 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 and it is what it is. 
like he's not saying it's 100 percent luck the 100 percent luck part was a clickbait title a lot of people just couldn't read through that he wants you to listen to what he's saying but he's saying the part that's luck is having the most important ingredients and the most important ingredient is the is the is the personality that somebody gravitates toward it's just like me playing basketball i play high school basketball i played some college if i were six i'm six four if i was six one i wouldn't i, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have got, I wouldn't have, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have played because my skill set was was not, it, it was for somebody that was 6'4". If I was 6'1", I wouldn't have been tall enough. But but I'm lucky that I was 6'1", just like any job I ever got. Any job I ever got, y'all believe it or not, every job I ever got where I was interviewed, by, uh, interviewed for, if I was interviewed by a man, didn't get the job. I was interviewed by a woman, instantly got the job. It's probably because I'm pretty and because I know how to dress well. My wife, she always dressed me well when I go to these job interviews and she say, oh yeah, if a woman interview you, you got the job. If a dude interview you, he gonna be hating. And it, like, that's just luck. A lot of that is just, a lot of this stuff is just luck. You gotta be prepared, but the opportunity is what, what you gotta have. You gotta be lucky to get the opportunity. Some, there's gotta be some element of luck there. But at the same time, a lot of it is, you know, you can work hard and get something, but everything ain't always hard work. People will have you believe that, but you can go do this, this, and that. It's just like my boy, last thing, I'm gonna show y'all my guy, Sean RKL, man. Like, he understands what's going on with this stuff, man. Hey, Sean RKL, this this is this is his channel right here, right? Is this it? Boom. I gotta hit the right button. Bam. Sean RKL, he was doing, this is his other channel. Look at these videos. 100,000 views, 66,000 views, 140, 96. This is his new channel. He put these same videos on his other channel. The same ones that edited the same way. Obviously, they edited the same way. They're the same videos. People weren't messing with it on this channel. It was like 60, 600 views, 200, 300 views. He goes over here, does the exact same thing on a new channel, and boom. Hey, look, look, over 100,000 views. The same thing for me on my Easy Does It channel. I was putting up the same content over over here i put up the dr sander stuff over here barely get any views i make a whole new channel dedicated and i'm and i'm consistently up in views over there and that the luck part of that is just that i was able to identify that and understand how youtube works a lot of that like we take a lot of stuff for granted but understanding is also something i mean that's a skill too and it's a luck it's luck that i have that skill and study and you know i have the aptitude to be able to study and look at stuff and not just be like oh no 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 if you just if you do this you do that you do this you do that then you're gonna be successful that's just not the case it's people out there that's like i said it's colder at this video the game they editing better they doing this they just don't have that personality they don't have the ingredient if you don't have like my boy hard eight said if you don't have the it then it is all for not but like, like I said, man, like everybody can't, everybody just can't do it. It's just like some people good at basketball, they just don't have that killer instinct so they can't make it to the next level. Everybody know a dude that's cool, that's just cold as on the whip, hooping. And what he say, bro, I just, I just don't care. I mean, like, bro, why didn't you go play this? Or why didn't you play? I don't, I just don't care, bro. I'm out here on these, on these girls. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody know a dude like that, man. He was always in the street. He was in this and that. But if he had had a better, a better upbringing, or, or you know what I'm saying, if he would have had, uh, uh, you know, some strong role models in his life and kept him on the right right track, hey, he might have been in the league. And that's just luck. You can't just create role models and stuff like that. Just, I could talk all day about this, man, but I just don't like when we try to say that you can, there's a recipe, and then people be trying to act like, you know, you ain't got to worry about this, you ain't got to worry about that, don't worry about school, all this. Is, I, I got a problem when people do that because not everybody can do what we're doing. I understand that. And I understand just because I, I'm not the I'm not the rule, I'm an exception. And just because I'm an exception to the rule doesn't mean that everybody can become an exception. You understand what I'm saying? There's people out there way better than me at the game. They got they got better editing. They doing all of that, but they just don't have that personality. I got the personality. That is the most important stat that you gotta have man it just is what it is but anyway i didn't talk too long about this stuff man like i said i get on here i don't i don't try to really do anything with youtube i just come on here give y'all the facts and then i'm out of here normally that's in eight minutes or 15 minutes or less my little 15 minutes is up man but uh like i said i i'm, I'm cool with what I, I understand what i'm doing and i'm cool with what i get because what i get is enough to pay my house note my car note my doggone and all my insurance, but two cars, my two car notes, my house note, and my insurance. It's enough to pay that. 
So that's all I'm looking for. I'm not really looking for anything else. I'm just looking for sustainability. I don't really want to go, you know what I'm saying? Like the amount of effort that I would have to put in to get further than where I am right now, it's just, it's more effort than, than it may be worse because I might be successful if I put hella effort in or I might still be in the same spot. I don't know, but I know doing what I'm doing, I understand what I'm getting and I'm cool with what I'm getting. And that's probably what the biggest thing is. We gotta be cool with what we're getting or what our ability is and stuff like that. Because like I said, like like a lot of people, they make good money off of YouTube, but I got a family, Quavo got a family. Like what's a lot of money to one person may not be good money to the next person. Quavo got a family, he got kids, he got all that. He got people to take care of. You understand what I'm saying? So a little couple grand a month, that's not gonna do a whole lot for him. You see what I'm saying? So when he said, when you're trying to get to a certain level, yeah, you can come out here and you can see some success, but to get to a level of sustainability where you don't have, like they telling y'all like you don't have to work and all this and stuff and you can just blow up and and, and that's literally, there's 7 billion people on the planet. Everybody got a YouTube channel. Some people got multiple channels. Bro, it's less than 1% that's going to that's gonna even ever see the amount of success that I'm seeing. So to say that there is a formula for us, a recipe, and if you just work hard, that's asinine. But anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hopefully y'all enjoy, enjoy the video, y'all understand what I'm saying, man. It's, it's ways to look at stuff. Yeah, you do gotta work hard, and like Quavo said, you, got, you gotta be out here, you gotta be working hard, you gotta be grinding. But the success part, but just because you're doing that doesn't mean that you're going to find success. Because with any level of success, there's an element of luck to it. Even with Windows, Bill Gates, he went over there and, and, and did all the stuff that he did, jacked that stuff from Xerox, and hey, people gravitated toward it. Plenty of other operating systems out there. It's just luck that people gravitated toward Windows. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. I can talk about this stuff all day. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, till next time. <laughs> it's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh, baby, gosh, baby.